the handsome Hollywood star Antonio Banderas, acting in the film Take the Lead. Banderas had to learn to dance to play this role. The man he is portraying has been dancing all his life. Mr. Delane just get his flirt on. Pierre Delane brought ballroom dancing into one of the toughest environments in America, to New York City's public schools. They're going to be dancing foxtrots, merengues, tangos, swing, waltz. We are really, really thrilled. And so I'm not going to say any more. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back, watch the elegance that these young ladies and gentlemen are going to show you. Dulane is the man behind dancing classrooms. For more than a decade, he's been convincing teachers and schools that learning to ballroom dance is just what the kids need to learn about how to handle life. When they first told me I was doing ballroom dancing, I was I didn't really, like really know what it was. I just thought it was like some kind of fancy dancing, but um, it could be it's all different types of dancing. Pierre Dulane is a rare man with a mission, which he executes with a gentle but firm hand. After all, teaching this lot to dance the foxtrot requires kindness, compassion, and determination. Just look at the way now they are holding their, what we call, chicken wings up, the man's right elbow. Okay, that's the frame. That's very, very important for the man, for the lady to feel comfortable. L uh, looking at their faces when they're moving their hips in the merengue. Look at the tango face when they're doing the tango and they do this corte action. Um, and, and it's this care of the lady that they're taking care of the lady. Just look at their feet moving, just look at the passion on their faces, just look at their coordination. They really want to do their best for their partner. This is the relationship with respect that's developing there. To me, that is what is wonderful about the work. I don't care whether the step is technically here or toe, whatever the technique is, but the passion in their bodies, the body language, the positive body language and care. That's, to me, that is what it's all about. The energy, the friendship, the respect in this room can be physically felt. This is truly inspirational and the very thing I'd long to find on this journey into dance. What is it about ballroom dancing? It develops coordination. It develops love for moving together with somebody. But I just loved it so much. I, I thought it's, it's something that I could give back to society. You come, you come to an age in your life, a state, it's a moment in your life where you want to give back. And all I could do was dance. When you tried to start this program in schools, let's be honest, people thought you were stark raving bonkers mad. Ballroom dancing is a very well kept secret with the older people, the 40 plus people, and, um, but not with children for crying out loud. The children nowadays growing up have so much difficulty in life itself. Life is so hard for so many people all over the world that I thought it was to, that, to be able to move the music is something that I can do well and I can share that with the children and that's what I did. Is there any evidence that after they've taken your class, two years down the road, that has been instilled upon them? There is evidence that they really love it and they'll, I know for a fact they'll get off the street. They will not be off the, on the street because they're doing something in common with their friends. Dancing. <laughs> that, that's incredible. For me, that's, un, that's unbelievable. I've read numerous articles and time and again I see this. You, you're talking about ballroom dances teaches respect, it teaches integrity, it teaches uh, trust. Do you believe that? The children are so proud they can achieve something that, 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 that they can do. And people are so proud when they, when they uh, know something and they can start to stand up. Because to, to do well at something in dancing, you have to stand up. You have to really, really stand up. And, and so you start to, to develop this in your every walk, in your everyday life, walking. And that 
people comment on that and they love it. What happens to Pierre Dulaine when you see those students taking their first steps and then ultimately at their graduation ceremony in the dancing? What happens inside of you? I cry. I honestly, sincerely cry. God, man, I cry. It's wonderful. Tears of happiness, you know, tears of happiness. That, that, is it me? Is it I who has started all of this? That I can't believe. That I can't believe. And I have to pinch myself. Oh my God, yes. The dancing's not just confined to the classroom. Pierre's protégés have taken their fancy footsteps into everyday life. Ask them to strut their stuff and they'll do it, even right here on New York streets.